Pardon me. The vice president doesn't matter. Well, I mean, who the hell knows? Who the hell, who the hell was Obama's VP? Nobody knows. <laughs> That was you. What is up, guys? Tyson Dela Cruz here. Thank you so much for rocking with me. You know it's over when the Democrats have lost SNL. They absolutely destroyed Kamala Harris last night on Saturday Night Live. For the third week in a row, they have mocked the Biden and Harris administration and now Harris and Walsh campaign. It has been an absolute tranching. SNL has uh, has been around for about 40 years, and the past, I'm going to say, three, four years, they've been in a steep decline in ratings, but they opened up this fifth season this year with the highest opening that they've had of all time, probably because they're making fun of the left. They finally got something right, guys. Shout out to everybody watching. Drop your comments down below. Smash the like button. And let's jump in to last night's Family Feud episode on Saturday Night Live. Something that you keep in your glove compartment. Oh, VP Harris. Steve, look. I was raised in a middle class family, all right? Oh, here we go. Okay. This is right in my wheelhouse, in my glove box. I got hot hands, uh, napkins from Runza. And gotta have Tums in case I eat something spicy like tomato. I like to buy a vowel. That is, that's, that's the wrong game, player. Come on, Conan. <laughs> that was good. I loved it. I liked it. It was good. Oh, man. We got two political rivals on this side. It's the Democrats led by Vice President Kamala Harris. My campaign has raised a billion dollars. Oh, my Lord. How are you not winning by a landslide? <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a question I scream into my pillow every morning. Vice President Kamala Harris traveled to North Carolina to survey damage from the hurricane, which is the second time this year she swooped in after a huge disaster. <laughs> A new report shows that inflation has dropped to its lowest level in almost four years. Man, I just wish Joe Biden was still around to see this. <laughs> oh, he is? <laughs> President Biden made a surprise appearance at a White House press briefing on Friday. And it's not a great sign when you're at the White House and people are like, whoa, what's the president doing here? <laughs> Saturday Night Live has not been funny for a very long time. You know things are bad when Saturday Night Live and Bill Maher are addressing the left. They're addressing and making fun of the Democrat Party, particularly Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. It's 25 days before the election, and I got to say, it's not looking that great for the Democrats. I mean... Uh, this is not a good sign, you know, when you have an African-American candidate. You probably shouldn't be having to shore up your support among black men, but that's what's going on. Tim Walls is headlining a voter engagement event tonight with black men. Uh, who better to connect with young black men than Tim Walls? <laughs> because apparently Michael Buble was unavailable. Uh, Meanwhile, Kim Kardashian's like, hello. <laughs> but, no, uh, Obama even came out yesterday to scold. I mean, he was, he was scolding. Well, I don't know, he, like the last week, month of the convention, he was no scolding. Now he's scolding. <laughs> he was saying, you gotta vote for Harris. But of course, for some young, especially the younger black men, it's a tough choice. Harris is African-American, but Trump has a sneaker line. So, you know, uh, <laughs> the comedy writes itself you put you put kamala in front of an interview unscripted unteleprompted you, you get pure comedy what do you guys think about this let me know what you guys think drop your comments down below smash the like button share subscribe and as always i'll catch you on the next one